Hi ladies, welcome back. I'm Jane and today we have a really special show. Today we have Taylor from Newt Sticks and we're gonna share our six must-have items in our Newt Sticks survival kit. So you could fit these six makeup products all in this tin. So your face in a tin, pretty awesome. You could throw it in your purse, you could put it in your glove compartment, and you could even put it in your desk at work for any emergency quick fix. Stay tuned and find out which were our top six picks. So the first product that I can't live without, which is actually my number one most important one, is the concealer pencil in medium five. So the way I like to use it is I just use my little Nate Sticks mirror. So I just make a little, kind of like a triangle, kind of like a clown underneath my eyes. And I like it because it has really good coverage and it goes into my fine lines. And I just target all of my acne spots when I blend it in. Taylor, you have to tell me if I'm using this correctly because I've just been winging it for the past no, You're month. doing a great job. It is like sleep in a stick. It has shea butter and vitamin E. Those two ingredients were very important to us because, well, very important to me especially because I have very dry skin and my mom has very mature and dry skin and my sister also has dry areas. And so we wanted a concealer that was very easy to blend and it didn't matter really what skin type you had. The fact that it also has a matte finish was very important because a lot of concealers, if they have too much shine to them, you could look oily, especially if you have oily skin. You don't really want to accentuate your oiliness. Yeah. So it's creamy, but it's also matte as well, which is a great combination. Well, I'm gonna start off with my concealer as well. And I always start off with my concealer because it's like my shot of espresso in the morning. I really don't leave the house without it. I don't even walk my dog without my concealer to the nearest Starbucks, just saying. And it's like two seconds away from my house. So I start using it underneath my eyes because that's where I typically have the most discoloration. And then I'm just gonna blend with my fingers, melt it into my skin. Can you use it for highlighting? Like, you know, some makeup videos, like they put concealer like on their nose, bridge, and then here, and then here. Yeah. Can you use it for like a kind of a highlight? Totally. Sometimes I'll even use a lighter color than my natural skin color and I'll use that as highlighting because it's so easy to pinpoint with a pencil where exactly where you want to highlight. Yeah. So let's say I want to highlight, you know, on my nose. I literally just draw a line and you don't need any brushes and I'll just blend it out with my finger. So it's super easy, especially for those who are new to highlighting and contouring or just new to highlighting. You don't need to think about it. You just kind of draw where you, you like want to highlight. special brush to yeah. be like... Yeah. And that's it. And I even like to highlight underneath my brow, my brow bone, to lift that area. A lot of people even go on top. My eyebrows either get like a lot of love or a lot of hate. But you know, you grow thick skin. <laughs> and thick brows. Yeah, and thick brows. Mm -hmm. And I love our concealer because it's, again, super creamy. I have really dry and reactive skin. So it was really important that we created a concealer that the ingredients for it, first of all, it's paraben free, it's preservative free, it's gluten free. And therefore, if you have really reactive skin, you won't react. So I look like a pizza until I was 23, so <laughs> this is where it's at. This is the good stuff, guys. And that's it. And I'll just kind of do some last minute blending just to make sure everything's blended in. And that's it. And that's the concealer. I'm actually going to talk about two products at once because I use them together which is the Magnetic Eye Color in Angel and Smoke. And I just use this to highlight and put all over the lid, and then this for a little bit of dimension. Since I only have six products, I can only use two eyeshadows, so I can't be too greedy. So I normally just put Angel on first. And Taylor, I need some advice because putting on my first color is easy, but then when I have to blend the second one, I never know really what direction to blend when I use my finger. Mm -hmm. So I typically try blending up. Okay. Yeah. That's smart because sometimes I just smudge it all over my face. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me if I'm doing it weird. You can be straight up, be like... No, you can't, you can't, literally, you really can't go wrong. Especially with Angel, it's like a beautiful highlighter. I even put it on my cheekbones, you can put it on your upper cheekbone, you can put it down the bridge of your nose, or your inner tear duct, you can even put it on the bowl of your lip. So for Angel, I really put it everywhere. Is it also one of your favorite ones? It is, yeah. Do you tend to have oily lids? Yes. Okay, so you love how Angel is like super long wearing, waterproof. Totally, and I have really like small eyelids, so I have to use like something that has like really high pigment so that really mm -hmm. like stands out. Yeah. Okay, can you tell me what's not even? No, it looks great. You can even use smoke right underneath your lash line if you wanted to for like an extra yeah. smoky. Well, I guess there is this like kind of blendy. Yeah, you could use that too. So my third product is our Magnetic Eye Color in Moon. What it does, it just cleans up your lid 
and any shadow you put on top will be that much more pigmented. You just draw on your lid. And do you put this on after moisturizer? Like you don't have to put like yeah. another kind of primer on, right? No, this is after moisturizer or after concealer or even just on fresh skin. And can you use it as like an eyeshadow like by itself? Or is that Yeah, weird? no, 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 you totally can. Definitely something that you could wear by yourself. It's very natural. I have not tried that one. Yeah. It's a great primer. It's like, it just cleans up your entire lid. It cleans up all discoloration. Actually, you could even use it in your waterline. And what this will do is this will just open up your entire eye. You see how that like instantly makes my eyes look bigger? Yeah. So my fourth product is this awesome eyebrow stylus pencil and gel. I didn't do too much research, so Taylor, you have to like cut in on yeah. special stuff about this, but I really like this because it's like a pencil, but it's kind of this, I don't know how you describe this shit. Yeah. So we call it a triangular tip. The perks of having a triangular tip is that you could be super precise about your brow. If you want more of a feathered brow, like you're doing right now, you could just draw in short hair-like strokes in the direction of your brow. The great thing about the pigment of this brow pencil is that it's very buildable. So it doesn't give you so much pigment right away, just in case you don't want a heavy or bold brow, but it really lets you build the product. Yeah, it's like a really nice shape, so you can kind of like pretend that it's like you're making new hairs. Yeah. Just by doing like little strokes and stuff. Mm -hmm. But once I put it on, am I supposed to blend it in or do I just like leave it? No, I would just leave it. And then on the other side, if you look at the spoolie. Oh my gosh, there's a spoolie? Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay, I've been using this for like a month and I didn't know. Okay, because I was watching your video and yeah. I'm like, I don't have a spoolie version. Yeah. What? It's a spoolie that comes with a waterproof gel, so it sets your brow hairs in place all day. It will also blend in the brow pencil to make it a lot more natural looking if you wanted to. The brow gel is a clear gel. It has a little tiny bit of tint to it, but not enough to change your brow hair color. And you can really use the brow gel to make your brows unruly or tamed, however you really want. I mine more like yours. That's what you're doing right now. I love it. And spiking it up. Yeah. No, I love it. I've been in the pool with this gel, like I've been in the shower, like your brow hairs will stay in place. It's awesome. My fourth pencil is my Magnetic Eye Pencil in Spirit. This color is a beautiful mauve neutral. I love to use it as my crease color and also as a waterline color. I'm using it over my base that I just used and I really just like to wear it in the crease. I have really big eyes, so it's really easy for me to find my crease. And then I'll just blend in the direction of my crease and just blend up. Yeah, I need like a GPS to find my crease. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, and super easy. What, it took me like two seconds to do that? That's even my, my night look. Like, that's how I'll go out at night. It's really nice for like hazel and brown eyes. Yeah, I'm going to use it in the waterline. So if you wait too long to blend, it stays, right? So you have to blend it right away because it's like all day wear, right? It's all day wear. It's 24 hour wearing, smudge proof, waterproof, sweat proof. Like try smudging it like it's not going anywhere. Okay, my fifth product is this lip and cheek pencil. So I'm going to use the darker one on my lips and then the lighter one on my cheeks. I have a mustache, so don't look too <laughs> closely at me. Just Sorry, what? I, I couldn't. <laughs> Hear what you're saying because I was just I looking admire at your from afar because I straight up have a stash and then have time to fix it. So it's okay. I'm I I'm I have one too going on right now. <laughs> Sometimes I try to put concealer on my mustache. It just accentuates like... it. Trust me, it just <laughs> really? doesn't work. I do it try all the time. Yeah, so the great part about our lip and cheek colors is that they're super creamy. They have shea butter, vitamin E, so they're super moisturizing as well. And they double as your lip liner, your lip color, and your lip balm all in one. Yeah, and Mystic is actually my favorite color. I don't really have a pattern for how I put this on, so... It doesn't really matter how you put it on. You do you. Is that too red? No, that's perfect. Okay. I'm just gonna take the concealer that I used before and line my bottom lip just to clean it up. So that's why I use this. So I actually picked the same one. We you know we did not talk before this. And we picked the same pencils. That's like coincidence. best friend status right there. Totally. <laughs> so I'm kind of gonna do the same thing, but a little differently. On one side I'm gonna start with the stick and I'm just going to line my lips. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a whisper and I'm actually going to ombre my lips. So I'm going to... 
<laughs> so you could call this whatever you want. You could call this ombre, you could call this lip contouring, you could call this lip injection, faux lip injection, whatever you want to call it. But I call it lip ombre. So I'm just gonna draw on the center of my lip. This is next level stuff. And easy. Do my lips look more plump? I guess. Hmm? Totally. So now I'm gonna take Mystic again and I'm gonna draw on my cheeks. And I'm actually gonna make this look more of like a bronzer slash blush. So I'm gonna start on my cheek and then move my way up. And then just blend it out. And just like that. And I'll even go back with my concealer. Just like Jane did. I'm tired of that. Yeah. Yeah, and again, like, we use the same color, but we have two totally different skin tones. And it's kind of like a huge age gap, but like we can use like the exact same products. So my last product that I absolutely cannot live without is the cleanup pencil. And I saw Ali do a video on this and kind of taught me how to use it. So I'm just gonna show you, remember earlier I had some angel on the back of my hand and I also use smoke on my eyes. So I'm just gonna demonstrate. And you remember how hard it was for us to get this off. So I'm just gonna draw a line through it to show you guys how well it works. And then I'm gonna take a Q-tip. This is really good if you're trying to do a cat eye, but you're failing miserably like I normally do. This is a really awesome tool to just clean it up. Like it's a total cheap pencil. So our cleanup pencil pretty much thinks solubilizer in a balm. And what it does, it just solubilizes any makeup mistakes. So let's say you're doing your mascara and you decide to blink at the exact same time. Mm -hmm. You just swipe, wipe, and it's gone. You could use your fingers if that's all you have on you. If you have a Q-tip, you could use that too. But the best part about it is that you don't need to carry around your big makeup mover, your wet cloths. It's in a pencil, so it's super portable. Do you think that you could use it if, let's say like as an emergency, like you wanted to like remove all of your eye makeup with it? Like if you absolutely had oh my to, God. could you? You know how many times I've used it for my entire phase? <laughs> really? <laughs> I've literally, because there has been times where I had absolutely no makeup mover on me. I was like, it was at the end of the day, I've been up for 12 hours and I was like, oh my God, I need to take my makeup off right now. And I was like, comes to a point where I had nothing else on me. I whipped out my cleanup pencil and I literally drew it on my entire face and gone. I had water wiped my face afterwards and everything was gone. Okay, so my last product is our Nude Stick Slash Lengthening Mascara. So this mascara looks like this, real simple, like your everyday mascara. However, it has peptides in it that grow and lengthen your lashes up to 15% in 30 days. I love it because it's a water-based mascara. So what it does, you know how sometimes if you wear mascara throughout the day, you try to wash it off and your lashes fall out. I love natural lashes and I love keeping my lashes. So this is washable with any water. It's also great because it has an elastomer in it that keeps your lashes very, I guess you could say, elasticy throughout the day. So they don't look hard, they don't look clumpy, just like a natural extension of your lash. It's really easy to reapply throughout the day because they don't look, again, they don't look clumpy. I'm wearing mascara right now and I'll just... I do not leave the house without mascara or concealer in the morning, or any of these products. These are my must-haves. Should we show how we can like stick all of these into like one tin? Yes. So well, guys, we're gonna be Mary Poppins for a second. Or Dorymon in Asia. This entire this, face. This, this right here is to go. So we're just gonna stick our new sticks in here. You know how guys say like, how do you fit all that stuff in your purse? This is what they're talking about. How do you fit all the stuff in your tin? Because I can. That's right. Because <laughs> Every Nude Sticks product comes in a tin like this with a mirror inside and also every Nude Sticks product comes with a sharpener. So those were our top six must-have Nude Sticks products. We hope you guys enjoyed that video and we hope you learned something new because I sure did. So if you have any questions, comment below and don't forget to subscribe and also stay tuned for our next video featuring us. We're gonna do a blindfolded makeup challenge where Taylor is gonna nude sticks my face with a blindfold, a blindfold on. on. So, so thanks for watching, guys. Bye.